So this video is about why loan interest is front-loaded. In other words, why your early payments and paying down a loan have a more significant portion going towards interest instead of the principal. And no, it's not because the banks want to screw you over. When you get a loan from someone, you're pay you have to pay them interest for the privilege of using their money. The simplest type of loan would be one in which you pay all the interest and principal back at the very end of the loan. You take out the loan today, $10,000 at 7%. You don't pay anything back till five years from now. You owe the interest balance, $3,500, plus the original balance, $10,000. So you're paying $10,000 in principal, $3,500 in interest, all at the end date of the loan. Now, this isn't very practic practical for most people, so we'll introduce the concept of monthly payments. On a 7% loan for $10,000, each month you would owe $58 worth of interest. So you can depict that as 58 little one-month payments throughout the entire life of the loan. Of course, at the end of the loan, you still owe $10,000, the total amount you borrowed, but you've already taken care of all the interest throughout the loan. Now, suppose you didn't want to pay back such a giant balance at the end, and in the middle of your loan term somewhere, you come into some money, say $5,000, and you want to put that towards your loan. You could take some of that $10,000 and pay it off earlier. So suppose you make a $5,000 payment plus your $58 in interest in the middle of the loan term. If you still wanted a five-year loan term, your new interest payments are now only half as big because now you only have a $5,000 loan. So moving forward, you only owe $29 of interest each month. And at the very end, you owe the remaining $5,000. This is still a really weird type of loan. Different payments throughout the loan term. People wouldn't use this very often. So what if you wanted to pay some of the principal down each month? Suppose an equal amount. That would be handy, right? To pay $10,000 down over five years, you have to pay $167 of principal each month. That's what I'm showing here in the red bar. Now you also owe the interest, which we sh showed earlier was $58 per month on a $10,000 loan. However, the next month you're also going to pay $167 of principal, but this time you owe less interest. Why? Because you don't have a $10,000 loan anymore. You only have a $9,833 loan since you already paid back some of the principal. And this will extend throughout the life of the loan. As the size of your loan goes down, the interest you, the remaining interest you owe goes down. Then at the very end of the loan, you would have your final $167 payment with a few cents of interest and your loan would be paid free and clear, no large payment at the very end. This also results in much less interest paid over the life of the loan. Instead of waiting to the very end to pay off the principal, by paying the principal throughout the term of the loan, you also pay less interest. The amount of interest you pay goes down over time. However, this still doesn't make sense, and this isn't the type of loan no most people have. People like to have a loan where they have the exact same payment every single month. So all we do is we shift the, the payments a little bit, force it mathematically to even out. So instead of paying the same amount of principal, we pay slightly less principal up front because we know we're going to owe more interest up front. And vice versa, at the end, where we're going to owe very little interest because our balance is mostly paid down, we'll pay more principal. So doing some quick math, you can figure out that $198 flat payment exactly the same every month is enough to get you to pay off the entire loan and all the interest you owe in five years. It's just going to be a mathematical fact that more of your payments early on are going to be interest. If you wanted to, you could pay more principal, but then you're going to be paying bigger payments early and lower payments later. So again, this is, the game's not rigged. The banks aren't out to get you by making in, more interest up front. It's just the way the loan works since your outstanding balance is higher at the beginning than at the end. 